go around the valley, you see all these beautiful parks. Well, Matt Hoodie has turned those parks into gyms, and Lucas Kirby is here with Matt to tell us how he went from 425 pounds to 350 in four months using a medicine ball, the park, and food. Before we get to you, Lucas, yeah. Matt, how are you? Good. <laughs> how are you, you doing? Good, good, You look good. swollen. You okay? I, you get I, bit by a bee or something like I, that? I, What's I up, man? That. Why you got to be like that? You gotta, <laughs> dude, we said wear jackets. Know, you want to bring the, the shirt in, right? It's medium. Is that what it's it is? medium, yeah. You're wearing someone's shirt, right? Yeah, is that exactly. what's going on? <laughs> so, <laughs> no, actually, Matt, I, this is good to have you here, and I like how you are very playful, very fun with people because you yeah. know how important to have that attitude 100%. when you are trying to lose weight. But I like what you did with Lucas is that you did just jump in there and say, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to hit it. Yeah. You really started with a plan with him, didn't you? Yeah, it's all, I mean, everything that we do, weight loss is 80% nutrition. You hear that all the time. It's 100% true. So when I meet with anybody, I sit down with them, go through a full kind of idea of what, you know, how did you get here and kind of work, work backwards from there. Yeah, and we got to mention about losing weight like Lucas did in the four yeah. months. You got to watch what you're doing. You really want to work with somebody and not just all of a sudden, because you can hurt yourself by 100%. doing that, can't you? 100%. Yeah, you can damage your metabolism if you try to go too quickly or if you remove certain things. So that's another one of the things is Lucas is on a high-carb diet. Um, all of the clients I work with, my own weight loss was all powered by a high-carb diet. Um, it's more sustainable than something that's overly restrictive, and I really try to kind of push that point home is the sustainability. Yeah, and, and you said it right there. High carbs, I think what you do best is that you break down those myths of going, well, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I need to have a piece of fish about that big exactly. and uh, maybe a, a, a fist of uh, rice or this and that. It, yeah. You're like, no, don't do that because that's going to hurt you more, am I right? 100%. So one of the first things we do in that first session is we call it nutritional myth busting. And we go in and we cut up all the stuff that kind of people have been telling you to, to sell you this or get you on this program. And we kind of let people know what works on that first day what doesn't, and then just build it around there. I like it. Lucas, look at you. How do you feel? I feel great, Brad. Thanks so, for asking. Listen, people out there right now are probably sitting at home, and they're probably at the weight that you started at uh, before you lost, and they're going, well, I can't get up. I can't do this. I don't have it. What can you tell them out there? I mean, I was there too. Um, with Matt's program, it's been super easy. We started light, so anyone can get started doing it. And the educational piece behind the what to eat was the most impactful. I mean, like you said, 100% of your nutrition with Lexus and I lost 75 pounds in four months by wow. not killing myself in the gym. Yeah, and I think that's what people were scared. Were you scared when he's like, oh, we're gonna work on your, on your eating and you're like, oh man, there it goes. I'm gonna have yeah. a piece of salary and a carrot. Yeah. Were you kind of like afraid that way that was gonna happen? I was, and then he showed me his recipes. I mean, I eat a cheeseburger and tater tots two, three times a week, tacos, delicious food, uh, just a low calorie, low fat option of it but it's still great tasting. And yeah, it was super easy to transition into that. So, and, and what's also neat too is that you said that uh, he's helped you find kind of like emergency food on those fast food menus that you yeah. actually can go to because we don't want to give that up, but no, that exactly. help you a lot? I mean, I like Taco Bell as much as the next guy and sometimes, you know, you're out driving for hours and you have, you know, you, know, you have to make a stop. But uh, his, he's educated me into how or what to order, uh, how to keep it in my program and I don't feel bad for cheating on my diet. So, all right, I gotta ask you, what made you wanna to start to do this? Um, actually, one of my best friends lost a parent and we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk and he was scared of, as to where I've been because in high school I was 180 and then I made it up to 425. So it was just reflecting on myself and just committing to wanna to change and with the right attitude in his program, we're good. I like it. Feel good now. You look good now. Look well, Matt. I don't know about it. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get there. So we come back. We're going to get some exercise tips on what you've worked yep. with Lucas yeah. and what we could do at home. 100%. Especially mention about outside, which is getting. It's raining, but yeah, still we can do some. Hundred percent. Right? Yeah, some super basic introductory things that anyone can do. I like it. All right, you got to come back and see what we're going to do. Welcome back. Getting to the gym can be tough, but getting outside is pretty easy. And Matt Hoodie has a great way to lose weight with the medicine ball and some great outdoor ideas for you. But uh, I just had to make sure they got to see me <laughs> next to Matt. But Matt's over there and we Way don't want to say here. anything. So Matt, so <laughs> Matt uh, you know what's really neat about you is that you're not just preaching it. You actually did a transformation yourself here. And here goes a picture before and after. How old yeah. were you in the first picture we saw? Uh, the one I think that you're going to show, I'm 19 in that before. Wow. Um, and that was probably shortly before my heaviest right there. So uh, the heaviest I ever weighed in at was 319. 
Um, that was right around that time. I ended up getting diagnosed as pre-diabetic, and that kind of was the catalyst for the, the transformation. Well, uh, yeah, so right there, so transformation is because you were told about diabetes, but there's right. people out there who probably haven't been to the doctor, haven't been told, 100%. who really need to be paying attention. Yeah, absolutely. We should all be aware of our health, the shape we're in, especially, I mean, this year has shown us that more than ever. Um, it's one of those things you, you try to put it out of sight, out of mind when you're in that moment, um, and then in, inevitably when you finally do make that transformation, you just always wish you had done it sooner. Yeah, and there's yeah. Easy, easy little things. As we mentioned, outdoors yep. is, the, is the golden place to work out nowadays, yeah. especially if you can't get to the gym or anything. And, and let me ask you, Lucas, is that what you've been doing, a lot of outside work? or uh, Yeah, gym? I mean, anyone where you can get a workout in these days, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, parks um, are a great one because you can just walk around, get your cardio, or you can use some of the playground equipment to get some workouts in. Yeah, and, and what's really neat too is that you can find sales or people played against sports is one place you yep. can find the medicine ball because people are kind of like moving up in different sizes. Exactly. The kettlebells, all those are, are great to use, am I right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, anything you get your hands on right now, especially with, with the way everything is going, um, medicine balls are great because they're so versatile. We can kind of work everything out. We can get a cardio workout, resistance workout. Um, we can really, really kind of burn the body with them. All right, show us a couple of things that we could do actually at home right now. If you're there, get up, people. Get up, stand up, grab something. Here we go. We're so, going to do this. I'm going to have him starting off with a squat press. And you can do this. If you don't have a medicine ball, we can literally do this with laundry detergent, bag of flour, whatever you have. Um, if you're stuck at home, get creative with it. Um, we'll usually do something like this for anywhere from 15 to... 15 to 20 reps, gets the legs, the arms, the shoulders. So this is kind of a good whole body resistance based movement to kind of get everything flowing. I like that, that and was easy. From there, we're gonna have him transition into just a static hold, so he's gonna drop down, hold the ball out in front, we're just gonna count it down, 10, nine, eight, seven, and we're gonna go from there. So this is a great way to finish off the resistance move. Something's gonna be a little bit more toning, a little bit more endurance based. Yeah. And then I like to throw in something, go ahead and switch it up, go to a ball slam, and kind of finish it off with something like this right here, where slamming it down, this is gonna get the heart rate going. He's incorporating the squat with it, so we're still getting the resistance training. But you kind of want to build it like that. You want to start off with the, the bigger resistance-based thing and then work towards the cardio, rest, and, re and repeat. Yeah, and we got to put a disclaimer in here because uh, my daughter wanted me to tell people this, even though she's in Chicago. Please, if you're on the second floor and someone lives down <laughs> below you, don't do this, and, okay? Don't do this. They, they, they hear you. They're working from home right now. <laughs> that is very true. That's, that's why the park is great, right? Yeah. Plenty of space for My everybody. daughter actually has someone who is literally doing medicine ball workout, throwing it on the ground above her, and it's like, you know, it's crazy. So this is really cool, easy stuff to do and everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so something like that you saw. I mean, he, that, that got him going right there. Heart so crazy. that that would basically kind of be one rotation. We'd take, take a little break, and then we'd go back into the beginning with the squat and the overhead press. I always tell people, start with the resistance training, kind of work towards the endurance, and then finish it off with the cardio, and then just rinse and repeat. There you go, and I like that. And Lucas, you're feeling good. I like that, that you, and it makes you get more and more of it when you start seeing those Change weights go down, right? Um, started losing weight, re-rolled into school, really trying to get my life in order. That's awesome, man, that's great. So now there's one more thing too that you say kind of, uh, and that's planking, right? Is that like, I'm hearing that, is that for the yeah. core? What's going on with that? Yeah, so, so I'm gonna have you go ahead and, so we can do this with the medicine ball. The medicine ball kind of adds the, if you want a challenge, adds, adds the, add the yeah. added challenge. Well, all that we're gonna be right here is on the side of the medicine ball, and we're just gonna be down right here and we're gonna hold it. Exactly, just like that. And then we're gonna drive one knee forward. And if you've got the ball, you wanna to shoot to try and tap the ball. And then straight back, another knee, straight back, right here. I got you, kid. I got you. And just kind of. <laughs> so where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, kid? What's going on, Matt? Matt Hoodie, where are you going, baby? This, this ain't over. This ain't over. I'm 51 years old, honey. Come on. Get down here, young man. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Get down. I'll stay here forever. There we go. Matt, tell them uh, how they can find out more about your programs and what you're doing. Yeah, so you can go find more info about everything I do online, um, especially during COVID right now, just from a nutritional standpoint at matthoodyfitness.com. Um, and then, of course, the gym that I've got oh, up in uh, North Scottsdale, yeah, uh, transformscottsdale.com. There you go. There you go. Can't you can't handle that? Could you? Could you had to stand up? There you go. That's what happens. Huh. There you go. <sighs> That's good. Right. Matt, thanks for coming. Lucas, Perfect. congratulations to you. That's awesome. So, Appreciate thank you. Thank you, guys.